So Nate is guiding us on a tour. Uh, we're at Newspaper Rock. It's, it's petroglyphs. You can see some petroglyphs. That's sick, dude. That's sick. Oh yeah, you see them right there? Look at that. Dude! Ancient. That's awesome, man. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna carve a gladiator in there. Don't I'm touch it. I'm <laughs> kidding. God damn. I literally hate you, dude. Wow. <laughs> Gosh, dude, mud and ice. This is the most, this is the weirdest mo I've ever been for me. So last night I met up with my buddy Nate from uh, Dirt Lifestyle and Ed Shin, uh, who were hanging out with the guys from Marlin Crawler, and they had some passes to go explore Elephant Hill Road, which is in Moab here, and uh, you have to have special passes to get in overnight. It's limited to only 25 vehicles in this area at a time, and we have to go in groups of three. So this is all something I would have never, I would have had no idea how to even do this. So fortunate that I ran into Nate and that they had an extra pass. Um, unfortunately, they only had one pass, so we decided to bring the Gladiator, my Tacoma doesn't have a tent on it, and so uh, it just didn't really work out as far as our sleeping arrangements. <laughs> Taylor and I are gonna share the rooftop tent tonight. He's got a diesel heater. And that's another big thing, is that the weather, I mean, it is April, so I guess I could have expected it, but totally unexpected. Honestly, if it wasn't for the fact that I brought my paramotor and I was planning on flying out here, I would be so underprepared because this jacket and actually the pants that I have in the Gladiator are part of my, my flying outfit, my winter flying outfit. And uh, I'm so glad that I, I brought it like so that I could fly because, you know, crisp air. But we got snow, snow on the ground. It's probably going to snow tonight and it's very wet and muddy and very icy. It's so cold, the mud is literally like freezing to the Jeep as we drive. That's pretty cool. In order for them to be able to make this sharp of a turn, they gotta come in here, back up, and then go up it. <laughs> Man, I really wish that I had brought my Toyota. Um, the Tundra could have done all of this, no problem. But somewhere up here is just a really, really tight squeeze, and the Tundra's just too wide. Oh, there it is. There's the Marlin Tacoma. That's what I've been waiting for to join us. And just above him, we have the uh, Marlin Forerunner.
So I just found out that no, these guys don't have a top, obviously, but they also don't have four low, so they're doing everything in four high, and they bought this thing like a week ago, have driven it around town a little bit, and then just brought it straight out to the trail. That's awesome. That's too cool. <laughs> Gosh, that thing is unreal. Thanks, man. So cool. Just geeking out over here. What? What is that? Most articulation. <laughs> That's crazy. Get your Tacoma out here. I know, absolutely. Yeah, I'm really kicking myself. This is awesome. man is out of his vehicle and it's just walking down this hill <laughs> wow what's the ratio on that 580 to 1 580 to 1 goodness gracious <laughs> just walking it down
pull in back down. What the heck? So I'm just sitting here laughing to myself about what Nate thinks like is super easy. And like, oh, he's like, oh, a stock vehicle on 33s could do that. But I mean, Nate's got so many years of doing this. I mean, I think Nate, he's, he's older than me, quite a bit, actually. But uh, to me, this looks insane. I'd be freaking out right now. This is like, <laughs> if this is easy, I'd like to see hard. There he goes. Yeah, sick. That actually sounded really good. All six gears. <laughs> wow. Oh my God, it looks so cool. I feel so torn. Because on one end, these Jeeps are like incredible and I keep talking about how I want a Jeep and then you got Big Mike's Barling Crawler Tacoma and it's like... How would you like to approach this, David? <laughs> we finished uh, watching you go up this, but I think I can take a wide ride so far. Cool, cool. Cool, cool. Oh, yeah! They're tired of the air. <laughs> Get after it, go. That looks like so much fun with the open top and everything. That's sick! And the weather ended up turning out. You know, Dave is improving his driving skill at a rate far greater than all the rest of us right now. <laughs> <laughs> He's not wrong. Such an incredible trail. I'm so bummed I didn't bring my Tacoma. Right around the corner, it's super cool because you like end up wheeling like under this overhang. It really? just feels cool. Yeah. Oh, sick. Like none of this stuff is hard or anything. It's just it's a cool vibe being down in here. It is a super cool vibe. <laughs> These YouTubers, dude, so slow. Sorry. No. Take our time.
Ah. I've been to Moab three times, I've been through once, so I've been here four times. And it still blows my mind every time. I mean, every time I come here I think, man, that can't be, there can't be anything more gorgeous, or anything more adventurous and insane. And then you come to a place like this, look at this location. You can see all the way through this canyon to the other side. And it just blows my mind that we're allowed to drive our trucks here. Like, so awesome. Check out this chute. This is, this is why I couldn't bring the tundra right here. There's no way. In fact, Taylor's gonna have a, Taylor's gonna have a challenge here. YouTube exercise. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah. Cardio, cardio. to our campsites now these guys reserved all of this in advance I think they said like three months in advance so we're like really fortunate to be able to tag along with Nate the guys from Marlin Crawler and everybody else it's just so cool Ed three vehicles per site and since the, the Marlin Crawler boys are obviously want to stay together you guys could you just stay here with us sweet man cool perfect thank you Yeah. much nice I'm so glad you guys came dude I'm I'm stoked so that's fine. You can that way that's my camp is. A couple modifications. It's gonna be fine. I'm gonna drive a Jeep and it's going to infect me. I know it. Oh, no, actually I already hate it. See it doesn't go back any further? This is built for midgets? <laughs> What's this? A Jeep for ants? <laughs> Where's the shifter? <laughs> Come on. There's more to knee break. Oh, thank you. God, can you learn how to drive? <laughs> My friends were killed in a freak gasoline fight accident. 
<laughs> Whoa. What's us to push it? It's gonna be real challenging here. What's on the menu there, Taylor? Uh, well, little tacos, which are delicious. The only issue is <coughs> the lentils are a little frozen because they're at the bottom of my fridge, <laughs> and uh, so I gotta heat them up. But you know, that's okay. It looks. It smells good. And it looks, looks good. Looks like taco meat. Well, yeah, man. Oh, there's a ton of it too. Green dragon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, and you got some yeast. <laughs> good, good. So I was hoping we'd have some yeasty, yeasty tacos. Green dragon, yeast. I feel like you're the guy that will just eat whatever's in front of you, though. That's true. Which is good. Yeah, I really will. Like, uh, I'm not a picky eater. I'll eat just about anything. Especially if you have hot sauce. <laughs> love hot sauce, man. So we're having vegan tacos, but we love America. So that's right, brother. You just have to put that out there. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> America. Orange man rad. What is that? <laughs> Stand down, dude. It's nutritional yeast. It'll up your B12, which you're probably low on. I think you, probably. I took vitamins today. That doesn't matter. Gummy vitamins. It doesn't matter, especially if it was a multi. Listen, it especially, was a prenatal. <laughs> especially if it was a multivitamin and if it had B12 in it, the other vitamins are way more powerful than B12. So most likely, your body just absorbed or did not absorb any of the B12. Just pissed it out. Yeah. Well, and what, whatever you did down the road. Yeah. <laughs> Some of it might be in that too. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Wrecked it. I think Nate hears a spirit inside of his cooker. Wait. Listen. Hello? Can you hear me? Shh. It's there. Dude. Listen again. Yes, hi. Next pal. This is... Can you hear me? Nathan. What? <laughs> what? I want you You're to burning it. this right now. You want to eat this what? now? Yeah, I want it. you to consume it. I want to see you. Consume it. <laughs> God, you sound like the human centipede guy. Consume it. We're gonna be in the same tent. Eat this. Man. <laughs> yeah, man. You, you won't even feel me. You give me a lentil <laughs> blasting while we're gonna be sharing a rooftop tent tonight. That's a terrible idea. <laughs> That's a bad idea. That's a terrible idea. Uh, you but know I, what? Hey, I, I appreciate it. I'm gonna sleep in the truck. <laughs> I'm gonna pipe that diesel heater into my window. Oh. It's really good. Oh. 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 Cast iron fire. <laughs> 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 you grab that with your bare ham? <laughs> Dude, the green dragon's down. I panicked. I didn't know what to do. Did you burn yourself? No. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh my god, the open flame! Green dragon! Dude, you need to invest in a better stove top, man. I'm telling you. No, it's, it's perfect. We've had two near deaths. Dude, this thing functions as yours. We got, you got your stove just falling apart. Nate's won't start though. Where'd he go?